Okay, so maybe life isn't always fair. But is there nothing we can do about it? Nothing? Well, before you answer that question, let me tell you about a teenage boy that just won't accept life's unfairness. And as a baseball player, he does his best to level the playing field for others. His name is Michael Pesci. Baseball is pretty much my life. The story begins when Michael was 11 years old. That summer, he went to a baseball camp at the University of Notre Dame, where he played his very first home run derby. Which is just um, the pitcher pitches the ball, and the batter sees how far he can hit it. And I thought it was a lot of fun, so when I came home, I decided that I would like to run one. When he told his parents about his idea, they suggested that he use his home run derby as a way to make money for charity. As Michael considered the charity idea, he thought about how privileged he is compared to a lot of other people. People who don't always have the same opportunities he has to do things that they would love to do. It just didn't seem fair, and Michael made a commitment to do something about it. So here's the plan. Organize a home run derby, charge people an entrance fee, and then use the money to make life a little more fair for some disadvantaged people. It seemed simple enough. All he had to do was work out some details. I realized that I wasn't going to be able to do this alone, so I asked my friend Mike Nicosia if uh, he would be willing to help me. Well, we decided we were going to split up the duties that needed to be done. And um, I decided I would take care of the registration, and Mike said I would take care of the website. So the next thing we thought is, where are we going to have it? And we asked the uh, Denville Police Department, and they said that it would be a good idea to use the field behind the police department called Gardner Field. The next step is we had to, we knew that we had to get the word out there, and uh, so we went to local uh, CCD programs and baseball coaches in schools, and we talked about the Home Run Derby. And they all thought it was a great idea and all wanted to help us out. Well, we made flyers and we handed it out to the coaches. Once we got people to commit to coming to the Derby, we started getting excited and happy that it's actually going to happen. But the two boys weren't satisfied with the amount of money they collected and the entries fees alone. They thought they could raise more money than that, so they came up with an idea that was inspired by Michael's collection of autographed baseballs and other sports memorabilia. I started uh, collecting memorabilia for fun. Um, my grandfather was really into baseball, and he taught me most of, about the game of baseball. And I realized that some signatures are worth a lot of money, and we can put a few items into like a raffle and sell raffle tickets. At that point, we went and looked for people who would support us and give us a memorabilia that we could auction off. The first uh, year of the Derby, it actually rained and we had to cancel it. And, but we still raised $16,000 in our first year of doing it. The following year, the weather was on their side and the Home Run Derby was a huge success. You come and there's a barbecue that raises money. If you sign up to play, you pay $30 and then you get seven swings. So if you hit it like, uh, I don't know, say 50 feet, you get one point. If you hit it 100 feet, you get five points. And whoever has the most points in each age group gets a trophy at the end. Please accept this gift on behalf of the Perfect Pitch Home Run Derby. And thank you for your participation. The Challenger Baseball League is a league where mentally and physically disabled kids try uh, to play baseball and they need able-bodied kids to help them, you know, go to first base, catch the ball, or throw the ball. A lot of the kids either had like wheelchairs or canes and I had to push a girl in a wheelchair down to first base when, when she swung the bat and hit the ball. I thought it was unfair that these kids 
who loved the game of baseball, who wanted to play it. They couldn't play on their own, and I could do it whenever I wanted to. I'll always remember that day. That was a, a day I was pretty much inspired by these kids and their enthusiasm to play baseball, and I realized that I could make a difference. We decided that they would be a good charity for the Home Run Derby. I learned about a girl. She needed a new wheelchair, and the one she wanted was denied by the insurance company. Hi, Rebecca. I'm Michael. Hello. Well, it was hard to pay for it because it was too, it was so expensive. I decided to uh, take the money that I've raised from the Home Run Derby and put it towards buying this 11-year-old girl a new wheelchair. It's great to see her independent and twirling around and enjoying life. In one of Michael's Little League games, Michael saw that the other team was at a very unfair disadvantage. His team had real baseball uniforms and excellent sports equipment. The other team didn't. They had to play in whatever they could find. A lot of the kids didn't have cleats. Some people had two different shoes on. Um, half some of the gloves were broken and didn't really, you know, they weren't able to catch the ball. So I was thinking that it was unfair and that other teams would have an advantage over them. So I wanted to uh, help them out and give them money to buy equipment to make everything on an even playing field so that they would be just like all the other teams in the league. A lot more kids from that town want to participate in the baseball program there now. And um, everybody's more excited now to play baseball because they realize that they have all these things that the other teams have and that, you know, it's uh, a fair game. I don't feel that I'm too special for other kids to do the things that I do. It was, it was pretty simple. You just come up with an idea, you know, talk with your parents or get some friends to help you out, and uh, anything's possible. Okay, so Michael showed that it's possible to make life a little more fair for a few people, but look how much effort he put into it. Not everybody wants to go out and start a charity. Are there some simpler things that we can do to make life a little more fair?